Hello, so this is my little just video on disassembling the Samsung T240 uh, 24-inch LCD display. Uh, I didn't think about doing a movie until I realized just how doggone hard it was to get this thing apart and to um, <clears throat> the fact that there was virtually nothing online explaining how to do it. There are a couple of manuals, but uh, they're not for this exact model, so it was a little bit of a wait and see. Uh, this particular panel has a very popular problem where you'll hit the power button, the Samsung uh, logo will pop up, but then the panel will quickly turn off. And uh, I don't know if I can do anything to fix it, but just thought I would crack her open, see if there's any bad caps in there, maybe a bad inverter or uh, something with the power supply that I could cheaply um, fix. So. I've already got this thing pretty much disassembled, but uh, when this thing was fully assembled, there was the actual stand on the bottom, which has just a little uh, twisty screw here. It's not focused very well, but just twisted that off, and that's what holds the base into this piece. And uh, once that's off, this piece will probably still be attached. I thought that there'd be a lot more holding this in than there was, but it uh, turns out there wasn't. I even took these two screws back here off, but uh, it's not necessary to do that. Instead, this, this piece here actually uh, is what gives the, the panel some tilt, and uh, you just need to tilt it in the right direction so that you can just yank it off. There's a small, uh, metal piece that fits into this uh, little hole, this little divot here, and uh, you can just yank it out. But that still leaves you with this large piece in place, and uh, zoom in a little bit. Um, the back cover was definitely the most difficult thing to get off. There's uh, two small uh, Phillips head screws that fit into little portions here, but nowhere on the edge of this or anywhere on the back are there any other screws. All you have to find is two little divots in the bottom here that you can fit a large screwdriver into, and you end up kind of popping two little tabs here. And with the use of two screwdrivers here, I basically worked my way along until uh, I popped all these around the entire edge. Uh, I felt like I was going to constantly break the panel, and uh, I don't think there's really any way of doing it without kind of malforming at least some of the plastic. So uh, that's kind of unfortunate, but that's to minimize. I'm sure they did it to minimize how much assembly is required. Putting it together is a whole lot easier than taking it apart. So from here, um, I guess we can get to actually disassembling some more of the components. So I've gotten through the disassembly. You saw the panel looking just like this before, but now that I've gone through most of the uh, extra parts to get to the electronics, I'll explain. First thing that you want to do is uh, get rid of this little cable going into the power supply or kind of circuit board section. Um, all you need to do is clip down, push down this little clip. And then uh, next up is this silver panel. It's kind of coming out right now, but more or less all you need to do is just stick a little screwdriver in there and pop it up and it comes off pretty easily. And what that gives you access to is the backlight power. So you'll need to pull these out to get to the rest of the circuits by pulling this and flipping it over. So finally it's kind of the more uh, interesting cable. I mean it's, it's nothing too difficult but uh, zoom in here. Sorry for my super loud autofocus. But uh, this connector right here is 
probably the data cable for the uh, actual panel itself. You need to press these two little springs before you can pull it out. You can just kind of wiggle it out a little bit and you're good to go. With all that uh, done, you're able to pull the panel off. Let me get this here. Kind of zoom out. And you've got the full panel here. Now this is really fragile, so you want to keep uh, as much as you can away from it. Don't lean in on it or push on it because the glass is pretty fragile. Um, also something that I forgot to mention before was the fact that this whole thing is sitting on a uh, towel. And I just did that because the bezel is glossy and don't want it getting scuffed up. So just grab this off the tripod. Uh, this circuit board looks to be most of the digital logic for the actual board itself. Um, my guess is that if something's screwed up there, I don't really have any hope of fixing it. So I'm going to concentrate on uh, looking at the actual power board and uh, see if there's anything that looks like it's out of spec here. And uh, we'll go from there.